Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how I made my doll Easter pictures. I couldn't do it outside this year because the weather has been very temperamental. One minute it's sunny, one minute it's raining and the grass is really wet so I had to do it inside this year. But I decided to put a yellow tissue paper background and then put my dolls in the order that I always do when I do all of them to do a group photo first. I added all of the mini dolls and all my dolls Easter bonnets and I have the Easter necklace I made last year and I added these little chicks that I bought last year as well and I just put them around so each doll had one, some of them holding them, some of them were in the bags, so I tried to make it look pretty. Then I wanted to edit the photo so I added a filter and I used the remove tool to remove all of the creases in the tissue paper in the background just to make it smooth and look a little bit neater. This is how it turned out. And then I did the individual photos. So I started with Charlie and I added them in the middle and they were holding this little sign that I made last year. It just says Happy Easter. And then I took the photo. On to Sophie. I wasn't entirely sure what to do with Sophie so I just sat her down and ended up holding this Easter sign. I used blue tack to make Ella hold two pictures, one of them Butterfly AG dolls made and I made the other one. I had a little bit of difficulty doing April's one because I wanted to put these eggs in her basket and I put the eggs in and then the string broke so I ended up having to try and tie it um, together which wasn't very easy because it wasn't very good wool but I managed it and this is the photo. For the last photo I sat Isa down facing the camera and made her hold this sign that I made a few years ago. Again I used blue tack to make her hold this. And then I got onto the editing. I did basically the same thing for all of the photos. I removed the creases from the background, I added a filter and I also readjusted the ratio so that it was a nicer ratio. This didn't take too long because it wasn't that difficult to do but I decided to speed this up 10 times so that you don't need to watch me do the same thing for all of the different photos. I struggled to find the right ratio for Ella's one because I realised I took the photo and she wasn't quite centred so I didn't want to just squish it so it would be a long and narrow photo and I tried to find one that was a bit better um, width and length wise so I ended up coming up with this. This is April's one. I decided to make it more square, not entirely square, just more so I was cutting out more of the legs because you don't really need to see that. By the time I got to the final one I kind of knew what I was doing so it wasn't that difficult to do and this is the photo. So thank you so much for watching how I made my doll Easter photos.